Chris may look like an austere, disapproving dad with his long-haired, layabout son, but these two are also band-sharing brothers. They just don't care to advertise it. We just think that the whole thing with being brothers is corny, you know, like it's not appealing when it's flaunted in a, in a, in a certain way. And these two seem to know all about flaunting. They may look somewhat androgynous, but they are males, Ron and Russell male. They were wacky and weird and reminded their first record boss of the Marx Brothers, so he suggested they become known as the Sparks Brothers. Genius. We just hated the idea of having brothers attached to the name of the band, so we kind of met him halfway and said, we'll, we'll take the Sparks bit and uh, you can keep the brothers bit. And to put the innocent record-buying public off the scent even more, older brother Ron decided to go for an image change. When we first moved to England, we prob Russell and I probably looked more, more alike, and then I, I decided to get my hair cut. And our manager at the time had thought that he had just made the biggest uh, mistake ever because we had a new record deal with Island Records. Everything was going really positively. I just kind of did it on a whim, and in the end, it worked out better than what it might have worked out uh, looking like a member of Grateful Dead. I thought it was your typical L.A. hype that they weren't brothers at all. You know, one was a really handsome-looking guy, and the other was this very strange, angular face with this weird Hitler moustache. Ron being kind of severe on stage um, apparently had an effect on a lot of people. It's really odd, because I don't consider, you know, Ron's it's not frightening to me. We were in Woolworths, I think it was in Birmingham, actually, during the first tour there. And a girl at the checkout ran away screaming, said, I can't serve him. And we all just looked at one another and went, wow, this is having an impact. He is the singer and the focal point, and the, he might hate me for saying so, but the sex symbol of the band, and I do the keyboards and the people that I attract are a little more unusual, shall we say. The irony is that while these brothers couldn't look more different, spiritually and creatively, they are identical twins. I haven't really found another band with brothers that are as close as they are. reason that we've been able to exist both professionally and as brothers for so long is that we have kind of just this common vision. I think perhaps they're more symbiotic than other siblings that I know, in that I can't imagine either one of them individually being transported into another band scenario. That's maybe because, as far as anyone can tell, other partners are not as important to them. Okay, that's, that's fine. And turn up the click. They have created an insular world um, that's very unique and that no one else can penetrate. No, turn me up. Turn me up. I can't hear a thing. The people that have problems with their brothers in bands, they must have some sort of backup position, friends, those sorts of things. But in my case, I don't have a backup okay. position, so I have to sort of no, make this work. Okay, go ahead. Okay, hang on. Hang on. It's all yeah, about the music. If that were to go away One, because two, of some disruption in their relationship, then, you know, I'm afraid their entire lives would crumble because that's what their lives are about. It's an insular world without commercial compromise. The battiness must be in the genes. Maybe we play it less safe being brothers. We both want to kind of push things as far as we can. I think the secret of working with your sibling is just to have something that you're equally as passionate about. I don't know if I could ever find another person that would be as single-mindedly focused on achieving that goal. Practice, man, practice.